Welcome back. You can't see us, but we're just having a little dance, enjoying the music. What's this mermaid's name? Meryl. Meryl. She is flapping most invitingly. And or maybe she's annoyed. It's like a cat when they start flipping their tail like that. You need to back away. <laughs> she's going to suddenly produce fangs. Produce antimatter. Uh, so we're on adventure mode. We actually have Meryl now. So we're going to try Meryl, Clyde, and Stinky. Because uh, that... Yeah, we're going to see how, how our little picker-uppers go. Not getting as much use out of Prego as I expected. She's great, but you know, just depends on what your strategy is. I think in the demo version, she was a lot more useful because you didn't have a lot of the little collector guys. I don't recall being able to produce stars or antimatter or diamonds even. Though that could have just been me not playing the game well, <laughs> in <laughs> fairness, so. Oh, so a couple other little Easter eggs I remembered. Uh, oh. Yeah. Um, whoops. So, Meryl, if you type in time, then you get a little timer at the bottom of the screen that tells you how long you've been going through this. Um, if you get... Oh, jeez, I am not keeping track of my gums. No, you ain't. I, if you type in space... Oh my gosh, I love this actually. It's like Space Cat. We should play that next for sure. We should. Everyone's gonna love Space Cat. I haven't played it yet myself, but... Fish! Fish. Alright, so I'm just gonna jam on this guy for a while. Keep him in the corner. I do too. It, there's no reason for him to hide. Like, he's not at risk. It's just a cute object. Yeah, yeah. Alright, do you want to go back to the normal map? Actually, the moving space makes me extremely ill. Okay, well then, for your sake and for our viewers, I, I will fix it out. I appreciate that. I'm sure most people aren't quite as sensitive to it as, as I am. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so I guess first... Uh, oh, nice. I'm not upgrading food quite yet, because I want to make sure I get all the... all these little gups where they need to be. So the, the strategy for feeding them the star potions is to make sure... Um, is to drop food far away and then they will kind of chase after it. So that gives me a chance to uh, double check. I think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade just in case those little fat aliens show up. What's the collective now for guppies? A goop? <laughs> a goop? Guppies? I, that sounds, sounds a right. A goop of guppies, probably, a I goop guess. A goop of gups? A goop. Some goopies. This dumb robot. So, dumb. <laughs> so is, is Meryl helping? No, she just, just happens a, to just be a there. Because yeah. you did that twice now. Are you sure she's not helping? I'm pretty sure. There are actually there's some really cool uh, pet behaviors mm. that we'll see later. I'm not going to spoil it, especially since there's probably a lot of people who have just never played this uh, this game. But you might even notice stuff like typing in... I wonder if Mustache does anything. No, it does not. <laughs> Apparently that does something in Plants vs. Zombies. So... Oh, oh I could have fed that one a I star. I want to, like, starve all the fish because their dying sound is so funny. <laughs> 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 it's horrible, but it's so funny. That's... You know, that's kind of the same thing with Octogedon. It's... It's cute, so you don't mind that you're literally destroying civilization. Um, oh boy. 
one of the things that that stinks about oh well I guess you're just eating a star potion you just got spoiled today um Stinky and Clyde won't pick up stars since they're food for these guys oh, oh boy upgrade my laser a bunch Um, I guess I'll get a couple extra guppies. Start working on those. And then just keep adding star catchers, because especially with Meryl, uh, she makes them drop a bunch of them, so you don't really have to worry about them not getting fed. Absolutely love all the sounds, all the music. This this is the game that I hear sound effects taken from most of any like when I play other pop cap games or I play online games, I always hear insane aquarium sounds. And we're big. When, when I played this game when I was younger, I always got really impatient. And I just... I basically, the only thing I cared about was getting the egg pieces as fast as possible. And now, as I grow up, I am a lot more methodical about... Yeah. About the stuff that I... That I go for. Man, see, I would already have like 85 fish there and just feed them as fast as possible because I've got all the little dudes at the bottom that do my work for me. Well, I, I usually don't. I would, wouldn't get the laser upgrades because, mm -hmm. well, I don't need them. But now it's like, oh, you ate his potion. And now it's like, well, oh, my wrist, you know, starts to act up after a little while, so of course I've got to... You know, it's just good for... Best place to talk about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so many. Meryl is like a must for, for these guppy-focused tanks. How do you get the, um... The pieces of the egg. Um, you just get, uh, you have to, each level has some kind of objective for purchasing things. Mm -hmm. And then once you've purchased that thing, it unlocks additional stuff. And then once you reach, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. once you've purchased all those things that are uh, necessary, then it unlocks the egg pieces as a oh, purchasable thing. So, like, the first thing you always have to do is get a guppy up to max level, or up to large size. Then that will unlock the food, and usually this stuff. Um, and then you get one of those, and that unlocks the laser and the egg. I could get way more of these. Hopefully I don't regret that. Maybe we'll buy more fish then. I actually may be... Well, I guess there's no reason not to just buy more guppies. This is insane aquarium, not measured careful aquarium. <laughs> I don't even have to really think about those stars that are dropping. No, you just feed the fish and collect the, collect the diamonds. And even, I mean, Clyde can do that for me even. And now I've reached the point where I'm just kind of dropping food. Does Stinky collect stars or only coins? Um, they normally collect the stars, but okay. when you have star catchers, they will avoid it because so, it's food for the other ones. So we probably shouldn't bother with Stinky then in the future. It looks like yeah, because Clyde will basically handle all of the, the diamonds. 
Oh no! Oh my gosh, I love it. See, this is now we're starting to get a little bit crazy. Crazy. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> it's so funny, but it's so sad. <laughs> We're, we're just moving right along here. I think even with the loss of of guppy number eight, we'll, we'll be finished with this. So now I'm starting to suffer from not having enough uh, stars. Oh no! I, do they pick up the diamonds? Yeah. Uh, I would just feed the fish. <laughs> Well, that was a star catcher that died because one of my starfish, starfish, one of my starfish died, and so it wasn't feeding them fast enough. Well, feed them all in the same location, then they'll all stay in the same location. <laughs> I mean, since you're not picking them up, does it make sense to feed them down below, right above the, uh, and to try to keep them right above them? Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, I got it. I mean, it, it certainly does. Oh, this was the one I was just thinking of. Wadsworth. Um, does he, like, slurp him up? He does. He oh just goes... Oh, my <sighs> gosh. That is so cute. And then so all, all the baby and medium ones... Can hide in him. Yeah. What okay. great buddy. So, another bonus round. Magic Conch making the debut. Not want those other things. Um, or are you just you you might notice uh when you when you get that chain like I was getting ten and then twenty and so mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Um, and then when you get ten in a row, you get a huge bonus. So even though there's you can basically just click and get any mm -hmm. shells you want, if you're like a little more methodical. So let's do Mr. Whale, dude. Let's do Prego, maybe? That's a good idea. And then how about... Because you can buy the little star catchers. So how about, like, whatever Claude... What's the fish's name? Rufus? I was I, thinking of Peggle. <laughs> this actually... Maybe, or do you the, like... Um, what's his name instead? Um, or... I think I'm going to go with Itchy. Yeah. And this is the next world, so... Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. This little Japanese pagoda, a little bonsai tree, a beautiful little bridge... It's fantastic. I love it. I don't remember what Japanese kind of enemies we encounter. But there's there's new enemies every stage. I'm not gonna buy anything. Prego will handle that for me. I get my guppy my goops for free. <laughs> I forgot we We changed the sound. I'm gonna change the sounds. To the fart noise. Uh yeah. Um There we go. You type in Prego. Um and then it will uh, re-enable that sound. Oh. This music is so Game Boy. This is, um, this is actually, what's that? Loch Loman. Oh! You'll take the high road and all Yeah, the I hear that. Yeah. Um, so, this new guy that we've unlocked, um, I'm actually gonna upgrade the food first. Enemy approach, right? <laughs> Your sound effect's so disgusting. <laughs> There's like a... It's magnificent! Yeah, it's the, the little Charmander. And then he immediately releases... Oh, I meant, I meant the whale. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, he just opens his mouth and then they all hide. That's pretty useful. That means you can have a lot more guppies. Like, you can yes. just immediately have a bunch of them. Though I guess you'd want to wait until you got the little... There's like a... There's a... There's something that you can do... Something you can type that changes Prego's sound to make it even worse. Um, so this is 
This little muncher, um, he eats guppies. He eats the babiest guppies, and he drops these little beetles. Um, so what you have to do is uh, lure the guppies down so that he can jump up and snatch them. I thought the whole point was to protect the guppies with the whale. <laughs> well, the medium guppies will be protected. Um, so then in the next... Uh, those are worth 150. Nice. Which is not quite as much as a diamond. Can't wait to watch this whale go to work. <laughs> oh. That beetle. Oh no! Oh. I just, I was thinking the Guppy Cruncher was like Rufus. You know, it, it just didn't register that it was even... Well, I'm not going to get another one for now. Uh, the next mission will actually be able to see how how the Guppy Cruncher is used. Um, but it's it's a bit more complicated, just because you have to lure the baby guppies to the bottom. Um, so the it gets a little out of control, because sometimes the guppies grow before you can get them eaten, and sometimes they just haven't been fed enough, so you have to bring all the guppies down to the bottom. This is really good in combination with Clyde. Uh, he makes stuff fall slower so that it. it's easier to grab. Actually, uh, I was thinking I'm going to take a little bit of time to go explore the virtual tank before we move on. And then we'll pick up again in the next video. Okay. Uh, so the virtual tank, first of all, I guess I'll put... Uh, I'll put those guys out. But you can go to this little store, and you can buy any of these. Um, so actually, what do, what do, I'm going to get the colored fish. The little tetras. Oh, yeah. We used to have tetras. They what should we name colors. this one? We can name it Tetra. Tetra. <laughs> or Petra. Petra the Tetra. And we can rename them easily. Yes, so. Quite. A neat little, another funny thing you can do. If you name a guppy Santa, uh, then it changes colors and it grows super fast. And it sings Christmas music. Well, that's cute. Now, the especially nice thing about this is that he brings presents. He so does have a certain presence to him, doesn't he? <laughs> you goobery goose. <laughs> uh, so you you gotta feed feed these a little bit every day, and then Santa, when he gets to his big size, uh, drops those bags of twenty shells. Um, and the shells that you get in the virtual tank are used specifically to buy stuff from the store. So like what? Uh, well, like more fish and these upgrades. Hmm. So, so you have this sort of Zen mode version of the game, um, and you can actually, uh, you can actually make this tank into your screensaver, That's so cute. that when your computer sleeps, it will play this tank, and your fish will swim around. Um, yeah, it's it's really it's nice. It's such a simple game, but. This, the quality of games was just so high. Oh, you can hit him around. Collapse. You right click. Oh, that's awesome. And we can listen to Christmas music. Merry Christmas. Collapse was one of my favorites. It, it's just another one of those games where it seems super easy, and then the more you do it, the more difficult it becomes, and it just draws you in, and it's so addictive. But I'm gonna call this one. Colin Firth. <laughs> Colin Firth. It's going to be Colin. I don't have my glasses on, so when I glanced up at the screen, I saw fish, but I was like, Firth? What? Oh, fish. <laughs> Duh. It is a game about fish. So uh, you feed them special food. There is more than just guppies as special food. And uh, he'll eat those ones. And they drop they drop those bonus shells that are equivalent to... What kind the... of pets can you get? 
Uh, well, the pets are, you can just Oh, put... you just, oh, I see. Yeah, actually. Can you have more than one? Or more than three, I mean? Uh, you can once you get, um, after you get bub the bub <laughs> bubulator, then you can get an upgrade that lets you have four pets at once. Oh, get off the ground. No. Oh, you <laughs> about to get eaten and you're eating the food. I'm, I'm actually going to wait a bit because if you're tr just trying to make shells so that you can get some of these upgrades, because I love this version of the game too, um, you can put Meryl out and she will sing and it will make guppies like Santa. <laughs> it, I, she'll make them drop extra shells. Has she sung at all? Not yet. Not since I put her out. I think she goes a little slower in this mode. Oh, that was uh, Colin Firth giving us a magic conch. Now, the guppies do take... It takes a couple days, so you have to come back uh, every day and feed your fish so that they'll grow. Um, but you could play just this idle game, and it would be, it would be the same. So now that I, we've given you a tour, we've gotten through Tank 2 and showed off a bit of the, the virtual tank, um, we'll pick it up next time and work on Tank 3. Thanks for watching.